We're back at the start of a working week and I've got to say it's been the quietest weekend I've had in a long time. Um, just four orders on Bricklink uh, this weekend. Uh, now, I must admit, I did post out Saturday, so potentially one or two orders that would have come in Friday night went out uh, Saturday along with uh, some of last week's post because of the strike was delayed posting till Saturday. Uh, but oh, so, so quiet. And not only is it quiet, but the order values are really um, pretty low and uh, the number of lots are, are very low as well. So four orders on Bricklink. Um, slightly more on Brick Owl. Uh, so we've got 11 orders on Brick Owl, but again, the order values, the lot sizes, etc., are all really, really small. And worse still, not a single order on eBay. Um, now, I can only assume it is the Black Friday weekend. Um, people spending money elsewhere um, with all the various deals that are on or even with other sellers because other sellers may be offering uh, sales over the Black Friday weekend. And so maybe uh, the business has gone elsewhere um who knows but it really would have been a, a payday weekend as well so i would have expected you know normally on a payday weekend you get people spending uh, more money um, but of course christmas is coming everybody's needing to spend money on uh their christmas presents and things like that but anyway let's have a look at um the orders that we have got because everything it's 9 30 and everything is picked and packed and has been for a while to be quite honest i've been doing some other things um so certainly no monday morning panic this week um just various small parts orders some minifigure parts here we've got a golem uh going out as well um, again, more minifigure parts, uh, which goes back to my question last week of whether to be selling minifigure parts or trying to build the figures. And um, some people did reply to that question and on various platforms that I, that I post on. And, um, you know, <clears throat> one of the decent suggestions is, is, you know, just having a cut off value. You know, if a figure is over a certain value, build the figure if it's not parted out uh, and that may be good advice so we'll we'll um you know have a think about that uh so as you can see nothing very exciting at all um so just wondering what to do next obviously i'm going to be getting these packed up and ready to post out and uh but i think because i've still got you know a bit of a mess uh with uh, minifig parts and uh, here for instance i've still got a couple of drawers of of parts already labeled up these are all leg assemblies um so i, I might well get them uh, uh listed uh, or sorted out at least i've still got this uh the minifigures that i built last week i haven't done anything with them yet so i haven't put them on ebay yet so uh or brick link so i need to get that sorted and get them done. So probably another day of minifig related parts. And uh, then maybe tomorrow I might think about trying to get some some more uh, bulk items done. Maybe think about finally getting around to these orange boxes or something like that. Uh, but we'll see, there's always lots and lots to do. So I'm spending a little bit of time now starting to list these uh, various leg assemblies that uh, we've got uh, these are the ones that brick pickers had already numbered and uh, therefore probably already in his uh, brick store file um i haven't actually checked that but um I i'm probably just going to go through once i've got these added and just go and delete all of the used leg assemblies uh, from that list but what i'm doing is um picking some out and then i'll go and find them in the um, uh, brick store uh, program. And then I'll typically check from there which minifigures they belong to. And um, if they're a valuable minifigure or reasonably valuable, uh, then I'm checking if I've got the torso and what other parts and uh, putting them aside 
to sort of build up. So an example of that is this Star Wars figure that's missing a helmet. Not that valuable, he's about six or seven pound. Still needs a helmet, which is actually a couple of pounds in itself. Um, so this one was a real borderline case, we've got to be honest to say, was it worth even trying to get the helmet or not? Um, but decided that I would. So um, I'm going to be working through all of those, matching them up with the various torsos. For instance, here's the Star Wars torsos to hand ready to uh, match up. And then um, if um, the figure isn't really very valuable, then I'm just adding it to my store file and I'll get those uploaded to the store um, as soon as I can. As many of you know, I've been doing a lot of organising minifigure parts recently and rebuilding minifigures from those particular parts. And when doing that, of course, you need to be able to identify what the parts are that are in front of you. Now, in some cases, I was lucky because Brick Pickers had written down um, the number of a particular uh, leg assembly or torso, but there were many, many loose um, uh, torsos as well. Now, one of the apps that I um, was recommended to use um, is an app called Brick Monkey and here on the screen you can see Brick Monkey uh, represented on my iPhone screen on the left and BrickLink on the right here and um, what uh, Brick Monkey allows you to do is hit the plus icon on here and you'll see now uh, it's turned on my camera and I've got a torso on my desk here the lighting is not particularly brilliant but doesn't really have to be that great so I'm in part shadow here even um, but if I hit the uh, blue button here that's gonna take a picture and very quickly it's gonna show you some possible matches and usually the uh, most accurate match is this one in in the uh, left hand uh, side here and when I tap that uh, it's going to show me uh, the figures that it belongs to. So in this case, it's showing me the uh, Bricklink ID there, uh, 973PB1616. And that's typically the number for the, to the printed torso without the arms. Um, but um, in this case, it's showing me a minifigure that it belongs to. At the bottom here, I can say that's correct and start building. Um, or I can just go into BrickLink, um, which is what I was doing sometimes. I'd just go in here and I would type in the part number. And it would show me that torso here on BrickLink. And then in BrickLink, of course, you can go and look at uh, the various minifigures that this belongs to. And in this case, it only belongs to one. But if we look on uh, on Brick Monkey here on the left, um, if I hit the the button at the bottom that says that's correct and start building, then what it would do was well, first of all, it sh it would show me all of the minifigures that that torso belonged to, and then um, it shows you a price. And fortunately for us in the UK, this is always in um, dollars. And um, it will also um, then show you the possible minifigures that it belongs to when you can select from there. And once you select the minifigure, you can go in and it'll tell you what the minifigure is. And um, you can add it to your um, collection, I guess, if, if that's what you want to do. It will show you the inventory for that minifigure as well, which is really, really good. Um, now, I think, unfortunately, if I go into one of these, it only seems to show you related parts based on the torso, I think, unless I've got that uh, wrong. Uh, so, for instance, if I go into the head here, although it'll tell me the part, I don't think I can drill in any further to see what other figure this may have belonged to. Um, but please correct me if I'm wrong in that instance. So um, let's have a look at another torso. I'm just gonna back out of this. 
and um, try another torso here so this time we've got an Injago torso which I think is used on multiple figures so let's just see how this works again very quickly it's figured out what the um, what the uh, figure is and then if I start uh, and look so now you can see that um, we've now got multiple uh, suggestions for uh, minifigures that use that torso and you can see very easily which ones have the highest value so you you know this is great because you might want to look at um, rebuilding the one with the highest value and again if we go into it um, we can uh, have a look at the parts that make up that minifigure and uh, drill in and, and, and have a, a look around um, and again unfortunately um, we can't see from the other parts um, for instance the legs which figures uh, might share this but still an absolutely incredible uh, tool and quite quick and easy to use uh, now um, there is another app um, that I use which is a web app which is called um, figure it out if I've spelled that right sorry which I haven't figure it out dot app that's it and uh, you can go in uh, view the minifigure tools and then in here if you've got a torso you can choose the uh, arm color for instance so let's say uh, I'm gonna look for tan in this instance and um, I'm going to say that the arm colour is also tan and that the hand colour is in my case here for this same torso that I'm showing in, in Brick Monkey. Um, we do a search. Now the negative side of using this is what it will do is it will propose a number of torsos that match those descriptions and in some cases depending on the colors of the the torso the arms and the hands you can end up with pages of torsos to go through now as it happens i can see that the one i'm interested in is here and i can come into bricklink and i can drill in and then i can start looking at the the minifigures that this belongs to as well um but um, there you go i just thought i'd show you those as two great tools that I, i've been using to look at minifigure parts and uh, the minifigures that make those parts up. Um, I think um, Brick Monkey is much quicker uh, with the torsos, of course. Um, the Figure It Out app lets you look for other things as well, torsos, heads, legs. So both tools are absolutely invaluable and uh, really appreciate both developers time and effort in putting those apps together. It's Tuesday the 29th of November and things have picked up a little bit um, with uh, six orders here on Bricklink and um, a couple of reasonable orders um, but the, the rest are still you know fairly uh, modest orders. Um, don't take much picking at all, higher slot count 20 there. And then on Brick Owl, we've got uh, three orders. Again, um, pretty small orders. And then on eBay, we have, despite what this says, we've only got one order, um, which was for the uh, Lego Dimensions Powerpuff Girls set, uh, which I'll show you in a second. In fact, I, I can show you now because we've... Um, We've got them all picked, or I've got them all picked, and um, this is the uh, Lego Dimension set with the it's the uh, team uh, one with the two Powerpuff Girls in there, and then uh, the rest are you know a mix of of parts orders as usual. Uh, this one's very Harry Potter based. Um, we've got a glitter reindeer in there, some Harry Potter figures in there as well 
And then we've got an order in from Brick This, um, which is uh, the guy who creates um, lots of commissions, lots of great ones. He He's the one who built the uh, Anik Gardens and um, does lots of uh, northeastern uh, type um, builds. Uh, so um, check his website out if you've not seen him because he uh, does some fantastic stuff. And uh, another little order here. Uh, so I'm just going to get these packed up as usual. Um, then I'm going to keep cracking on with um, minifigures just because of the mess and the uh, amount of stuff that I've I've got out. I'll keep cracking on with that for a little longer. Try and get some stuff uploaded. Um, I've got to say that um, the month, although started really good, um, remember earlier in the month I was telling you I was kind of 80% up. And um, if I look now, I'm about 19% up on the previous month, which is nowhere near as good. Of course, it's been a better month on eBay as well, so um, it's still been a, a, a decent month uh, for this time of year. But the last week has just really killed it with, um, you know, the, the drop-off of orders coming up to Black Friday. And, uh, of course, that was before payday as well. Um, it really seemed to hit me quite, quite hard. Um, but 10 orders again today, so hopefully that's a sign that we're going to be on the increase now with uh, things picking up for December. So I'm back to adding parts to the store and in particular uh, these leg assemblies. Now um, I'm taking a slightly different uh, approach to yesterday and just getting these listed not really checking what figures they're in unless they come up as being a sort of high value. Um, so I'm adding uh, lots and lots of these into the store. Some of them are in good quantities. So these, which is the uh, the uh, fortune teller uh, decorated skirt. And then we've got this one here, which I think is something like the evil wizard or, or, or something like that. And um, each of those uh, uh, have uh, 15 of each of those to, to put away and add to the store. Um, so I'm just going to keep working through these and um, then I'm going to see what I've got ready to probably upload. Um, but we'll see, you know, I, I might get tempted and go through torsos as well. But um, it's I, I'm doing it this way because yesterday's method of kind of looking and then trying to match with the torso and see what other parts are in it is just so slow to be honest and um far too time consuming at, at the moment so if i happen to stumble across some uh figures um that are worth making up then then good i'll stop and i'll do that but otherwise i'm going to get these thrown into the store it's wednesday the 30th of november and today is the first of two days strikes with Royal Mail. So there's going to be no chance of sending out any orders for the next two days. Now, possibly because of that, um, things are really quiet. I've got just uh, three very small orders in ready to do today. I'm not going to rush to do them. I'm just going to carry on um, going through minifigure parts and adding things to the store and... Um, I'll probably leave orders till at least later today or even tomorrow, depending on how many there are. Um, but as I continue to go through the minifigure parts, I do uh, keep coming up and finding some uh, little gems. And uh, I think it's worthwhile uh, persevering with that um, for, you know, for that reason that, that I, I keep finding some pretty um decent stuff in here so for instance i'm just going through red torsos and i came across this torso here which is the torso from uh the scarlet witch uh, minifigure and this is one that comes with a fabric skirt so i found the minifigure on here uh, the minifigure itself is selling for 
an average of well it, it's if you go by the last six uh, months it's an average of about 14 pounds um but you know there's lots on here for sale for 14 through to 30 pounds on here which is a bit excessive but um some some decent prices on here now uh i had a look to see what makes the uh parts up and of course this comes with a fabric skirt now if i look at the fabric skirt there's only one of those for sale and someone's got that for sale for 18 pounds alone which is more than the minifigures are selling for which is a little bit crazy i think um now i'm debating which way to go with this figure now because i found the skirt uh, so i do have the skirt i've got the legs i've got the torso and i've got the head the only thing I'm missing is the hairpiece. Now, unfortunately, the hairpiece, in the UK at least, is only for sale in one place, and they are £4.36 each. So I'd have to spend £4 something to make the figure up to probably get, I'm going to say, £12 probably. So I'm thinking I'm probably better off parting the figure out. If I price the skirt at a much more reasonable price than the £18 available at the moment, um, then I'm going to um, hopefully uh, see that move. And then the torsos are selling for, as an example... Torsos are selling for around £3. So if I sold the skirt for, let's say, £10, got uh, £3 for the torso, and then the heads, of which I've already got one in my store, as it happens, um, and I've got that listed at £2.50 uh, pretty much, uh, then, you know, that's, that's going to make up the same money that I would sell the figure for. And there's quite a few figures for sale at the various prices, as we've seen. So I think I'm going to go with just listing the parts, to be honest, rather than trying to source the hair, um, taking a much lower profit margin from that. And um, it, yeah, I think it's just going to be more worthwhile and easier. Um, so just some thoughts on, you know, whether to build the figure or whether to part it out. And these are the kind of dilemmas that I keep coming across. So let me know what you think about whether you would build this or part it out. I'm continuing to work through the minifigures and I'm just going through and pricing some of these up. Um, so I'm going through individually in these cases because with minifig parts i find that you just never know um what they're worth and i've got one here that's not producing any uh pricing information so um when i look it up the price of this torso is 150 pound is what it's selling for at the moment or at least what someone is asking uh for it now it's sold in the past um as a new item for around 50 pounds and there are uh some new items available at at 50 pounds um i'm not sure where they are based so let's have a quick look so they all seem to be based in china which um, say what you want is always a slight concern with all of the counterfeiting that goes on in china so i'm not sure how much i would uh, trust that one now the next one uh, is based in the us which is 279 dollars uh, or there is a used one in the us for 180 dollars so that is for this torso and you have to forgive me um if the light is not so great here 
This is actually in absolutely great condition as well. Not a dint, not a scratch, nothing. Really, really good condition. So I don't know what to list it at, to be honest. I feel a little bit ridiculous um, listing it for, let's say, I don't know, 80, 100 pounds, something like that. Seems crazy, doesn't it? Um, I had a look to see whether I could build the figure, uh, which would be even better. So if we look at the minifigure it belongs to, and some of you probably know this, those of you who follow the Star Wars stuff a bit more than I do, there are some for sale, and the cheapest um, figure for sale is £146, right through to... £500 for a new one uh, for a minifigure, uh, which I just find crazy. So I started to have a look at the parts and the um, everything is pretty reasonable in price, except for the head. And I actually thought I'd found the head at one point, but I haven't. It's one with the same markings on the face, but not the angry uh, pattern. Um, now I do though have the legs. Uh, and again, these are in immaculate condition. Um, these are not though worth quite, uh, or even anywhere near as much. Um, those are selling for um, around, let's have a look at the price guide here. So there's a pair for sale in the UK at £8. There's some for sale in the US for $66. So I'm not sure where the real price lies here, to be honest. Some have sold in the US. So it looks like this $66 is a real outlier. And... Um, it's in a, a store called BBB store, which I've never heard of. There's also some there, um, you know, for $3, etc. So they, the legs themselves don't look super expensive. Um, but the torso looks a really good find. Um, shame I don't have the head. If I had the head, I would build the figure without a doubt. Um, but unfortunately, let's go back again. Uh, we'll have a look at the head. And um, what I noticed with the head is there's not a single head for sale uh, anywhere. Oh, sorry, there is. There's one in the US for $150, which I clearly am not going to be paying for. That's the only one, I believe. Sorry, there's two on uh, two available uh, online. One um, for 57 and one for 125 and funnily enough this ebricks online they're the people that bought my chrome um uh darth vader um so that they, they bought that from me for 50 pounds um a, a, a couple of weeks back and they're a really big um seller uh over there in the u.s um, so anyway, that's a really good find. Um, brick pickers always said, I'm going to find some gold, um, when I start digging. And, uh, that's certainly the case with that torso. So it's finally the 1st of December, uh, Thursday and, uh, orders starting to come in again and, uh, need to get uh, some orders picked. I didn't bother at all yesterday with the strike being on. Um, and just six orders to pick today on Bricklink at least. Um, all small orders, 28 lot count being the highest there. On um, Brick Owl, there's just one order. And um, I have to say there aren't many open carts either. That seems to have dropped away. And that could have been because I haven't really been uploading much the last... Uh, week or two because I've been focused on sort of building minifigures and things and hadn't really pushed anything up but I did push a fairly large um, uh, parts order of minifig parts last night uh, so we'll see how that does. Uh, on eBay we've only got uh, four items to post uh, so we'll go and get those picked. 
and uh, we'll get everything ready to pack and we'll show you what we've got then. So here we are with uh, today's orders all picked and ready to ship. Um, mostly parts orders, nothing too exciting. Uh, we've got a um, Lego movie set going out to Germany, I believe. This is the Castle Cavalry set, sold for, I want to say £50 or something like that. Um, but of course it costs them a lot more with shipping and customs and everything else, so um, quite a bit more for them. Um, we've got a Doc Brown um, dimension set going out for £18. And we've got a J uh, Island minifigure going out as well. And over here, just another small order for 300 one by one, by one round uh, tiles, um, or plates rather. Um, so I'm um, going to get those packed up and uh, get them ready to uh to send in the post today and then i think i'm gonna have in a way not so much a tidy up but i'm gonna get some of these little pots listed that i've got all over the place that have just been sat here for a while and are really doing my head in in terms of just being messy and, and in the way um so a little bit of um housekeeping i think at least for an hour or two or however long it takes to get them listed i've also got uh the minifigures to uh get listed that i uh created but still haven't got um listed anywhere so these i need to go through and decide whether these are going to be ebay or bricklink and there's all kinds of stuff in here we've got a whole load of droids Quite a few Spider-Man, Batman, various uh, Star Wars figures. There's another uh, Luke Skywalker there. There's uh, Ninjago. Uh, some decent figures uh, in here as well. Uh, there is uh, one from the Pirates of the Caribbean. I think I might have shown that one before. We've got some collectible figures. Uh, more Star Wars and some of them there are multiples of so where there are multiples we'll get uh, probably some on eBay and some on um, Bricklink that's a nice castle one some I may have to still find accessories for if I'm going to put them on eBay uh, but we'll see um, but they're going to take a little while to list as well so I've just added uh, the minifigures that I've been working on rebuilding from the uh, minifig parts that I've been looking at. And we ended up with 83 minifigures uh, rebuilt um, with a value of uh, £331. And I'm just going to get these uploaded to uh, Bricklink now. And... Um, I, I may still pull a couple back out and put them on eBay at some point, but I I just want to get them listed quickly, to be honest. So I haven't gone the eBay route uh, after all, and then just getting them uploaded to Bricklink and uh, try and get some of them moving. As I said previously, I wanted to clear some of the pots that I had around my desk, and one of those pots was full of various shields that I'd found. And I'm sure you all uh, are aware of the value or potential value of some of these shields. And uh, they typically range uh, from anything from, uh, if we look on here, to, uh, you know, 70p here, £1.30, £1.30. And then, you know, all the way up and some of these are uh, looking like they're worth you know over three pounds or so per shield so you know we put a lot of um emphasis on minifigures in, in uh, uh you know as a lego seller uh, because minifigures are attractive and they have a certain value but there's lots of parts that are worth uh good value and you know getting up towards um and surpassing even some 
of the generic sort of minifigures that you've got. So well worth looking out for uh, these and uh, other parts of good value. Friday the 2nd of December and just um, a bunch of uh, small orders today. Um, not very much at all. Um, a few with uh, minifigs. Uh, sorry, I've got two more to add to that order there. Um, so um, minifigs going out here, mostly Disney uh, minifigs. Uh, a few more going off to the US along with some other parts um what several clowns there so not sure if there's anything in that and this is probably my favorite order because um you know some of these colors don't move uh very often and then for someone to buy you out of these in this case was 880 bricks of an odd color in one go is uh is always nice uh, more minifigs going out and um, I'm just got to get these packed up and ready to uh, join the other parcels uh, for the last couple of days. And then um, we're going to be doing some um, putting away of the sets that have been parted out for me. There are five of this one, which is one of the stunts sets. And I think there were three of this uh, Friends set over here. Um, both of those were from the multi-packs that I bought recently. And um, just, you know, keep them ticking over um, whenever my uh, little friendly helper um, is looking for something to do. Then it's nice to give them some, uh, you know, just some small sets. That just takes them an hour or so to get parted out and then I can get them put away. So those will be my uh, my first job for this morning. And then I think I wanna go and dig some uh, things out from the other room upstairs and uh, get them listed on eBay. I've got still got some sealed sets to sell. And uh, I reminded myself that there's some uh, sealed Harry Potter sets up there that I'm sure would be uh, flying out at this time of year, uh, being retired sets and everything. So I'm uh, probably gonna look at getting some of those listed. So I've just popped upstairs to take a few photographs of a few sets that I'm gonna get listed on eBay. Uh, a few things here, the uh, Lego movie. Uh, this is the Lord Business Evil Lair. We've got the um, Fat Boy, uh, Harley Davidson. Uh, we've got a Hogwarts uh, Whomping Willow, we've got a Batwing, we've got the uh, Spider-Man, I think it's a bridge attack or something like that. And then we've got a um, Harry Potter uh, Great Hall here. Um, just trying to find my way around because we've got a bit of a mess going on here with Christmas presents and things but I've also got a couple of big sets down there with um, one of the cargo trains and uh, a, a big uh, Nexo Knights uh, set to go there as well. So I'm going to get as much of this photographed as I can and get them listed on eBay. <laughs> 